What a beautiful day. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, I've traveled down to Glossop in Derbyshire. It's a market town, and it's a good base for some of the Peak District's most classic walks. That includes Black Hill, Bleaklow, and Kinder Scout. It's an excellent area for walking, as you can see in the distance. The beginning of the walks, but on the outskirts of the town center. And it's a beautiful place to be. Pie Master's waiting patiently over there. Pie Master. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's get into the town centre, the market town of Glossop, and have a good look around. This place looks like it's going to be a nice place. Making our way into the town now. Look at that. The cave, bar and club. Bit of a raving town by the looks of it. The home of homemade Sunday lunch. Liberal Hall. It's all here in Glossop. <laughs> and so lucky as well that it's a beautiful day again. What's this? Glossop Business Centre. The Deco Suites, all in the buff. Glossop Commercial Club. Reiki, well, all in the buff. Now that is very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> no, we're not going in there. Mind you, I should do and take the camera in. <laughs> okay, here we are. Entering out to the main thoroughfare. Sorry about the traffic noise. The streets are pretty narrow. We're into the main part of Glossop Town. Nice buildings up there in the distance. And here we go. What's up? Barnsley by a woodhead, Chapel of the Frith, Sheffield by a snake pass. A snake pass, as a lot of people know, is only open about two months of the year because as soon as it starts getting cold, it's shot on account of snow. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, Costa Coffee. What would any town centre be without a Costa Coffee, eh? Let's get close and personal with these buildings and have a look. Glossop's Memorial. Beautiful. Pro Patria. Is that sun causing too much glare? Can't see from this side of the camera. Square West. Lots of Whole Foods, cask and kitchen. That looks nice, that looks nice. But here, Partington Theatre. Wow, wee, the size of that. So I get the song there out of shot. Pie Master's up there in the distance. He'll have a good wander around, I will find him at some point. <laughs> he always streams off. Okay, passing to the is lovely. Bustly little town. There we go, party to players, theatre. Cemetery club, beauty and the beast, things I know to be true. They don't pay, we won't pay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Splendid building though. Nice doorway. Lovely limestone. Sandstone? You guess. I don't know. I think it's lime. Sand. Stone. <laughs> now here's something different. Half stone. Half wood. Interesting combination. Good stuff. Hi mate. Hey, Half stone and half wood. That's an interesting combination, that is. Well, that's what it was in the first place. Looks really nice. What, yeah, wood? Yeah. It's good, it's good, well, it's going to be um, Siberian larch cladding. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'll come back for that when it's finished. Yeah, yeah, okay, mate. Hey, thanks for letting you be on camera. <laughs> no worries. Thank you. You're a gentleman. So there you go. It'll be in a Siberian style. Ooh. 
Hello, hello, hello. Ambulance. Kim McGrath, English mass tutoring. Well, I'm pretty brilliant at both, so I don't need tutoring. That, incidentally, is a lie. <laughs> Righty ho. Let's get down there. Patriotism. Love it. The coronation of King Charles III. 6th of May 2023. That will be a bank holiday. So all those people are working for businesses that allow them time off for a bank holiday. Enjoy it. I'm at work. <laughs> hey up. Oh yeah. Look at the sky. Look at the hills over there. We're right down in the valley. In Glossop. Nice buildings. Oh. Work our way down there in a bit. Just got somewhere else to visit first. Hems above. Weatherspoons always have pretty magnificent buildings. But they're pubs. They're smoothie falls. And right next door, the Edinburgh Woolen Mill. Apart from those little houses over there, it just leads up to countryside. Miles and miles of the drive down here was absolutely fantastic. MS Food Hall. We'll get over there in a minute. But as you can see it's quite a busy place. Do I go in for a pint? Do I? Do I? Mm. Nah. Monday 7 a.m. to 12.30. Tuesday 7 a.m. to 12.30. Wednesday 7 a.m. to 12.30. Thursday 7 a.m. to 12.30. 1.30, sorry. Jesus, how much time do you need to have a drink? Christ, 7 till 12.30, uh, 7 in the morning to 12.30 at night, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday till 1.30 in the morning. Bloody hell. <laughs> High peak cycles, closed on Tuesday. Oh well, some rainbow steps down there. Oh, how nice. <laughs> There's the Howard Arms. World of aroma. Mmm. Can't smell anything, but there you go. Blossom. Uh, the property price of Glossop. Gonna pause the video and look at the price of some of these properties as you can. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Dukes. Love these old streets. Love these old streets. Not for seeing that. Pickled eggs on the bar. Pickled eggs on the bar, isn't there? Good grief. Ooh. I do like a pickled egg, I must admit. Lisa's nails. The dining room bistro. Tons of little cafes, little restaurants on the main drag. Cross of tyres. Oops. All right, lady. You knock me over. <laughs> 144.9. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap. MJ Studio, modern portraits. I don't know whether any of these are actually living in accommodations. Looks like there's all some sorts of businesses, but love the stone, beautiful stone. Ah, Glossop Leisure Centre, let's go and have a look. Glossop Leisure Centre, the entrance is not down there, or around the side, it's here. So, I'm not popping in there. I really could do with going back to a gym, but... Can't be bothered. Yeah, I've exercised walking around Peak District Villages, to be honest. <laughs> oh, look, LFC, top man. <laughs> that is spitting. <laughs> He's man, you. Quick fit, if anything's wrong with your car, don't go there. Sorry, quick fit. 
Yeah, he buggered my car up for many months. Look at that for a chemist. Brilliant. I'm uh, getting more into the residential property area now of Glossop. I can only imagine it's quite expensive to live here. You're surrounded by the countryside, fantastic views. All the way around you. If I could have a Cohen's chemist, nice and clean as well. The one nice thing about Blossom is, apart from the properties, it's nowhere near as hilly as some of the other pig district villages I've visited in towns. It's reasonably flat. Great for me, because I'm lazy. There's an old mill down there that I'm going to show you in a bit. It looks spectacular. Not sure what it is now, I think it's just shops, but it does look awesome. The cyclist there was giving me a good hard stare. <laughs> What's wrong with people? It's a camera. Jesus. It won't harm you. It's a bell you over the head with it. And I wouldn't do that, would I? Oh, doggies! Doggies! Alright, guys! <laughs> Nice doggies, nice doggies. Heron foods. I'm not going in because all this else fish. <laughs> That's been a scaffolding. Some really work going on at the town hall and market. And certain manorial rights and franchises were purchased from the Lord Howard of Glossop and generously presented to the Corporation of Glossop by. All those people. It's lovely in Glossop, I must admit. It's a bay, Quite impressive. Ah, oh, here we go. Transforming Glossop Halls. Investing seven million to create modern fit for the future spaces for business. Leisure and events. Okay. That's what they envisage it will look like. Whether it will or not. Oh. I don't know. Oh, another passerby. There you go. How kind of me, eh? Okay. Still love it over there. Brill. Lots of market open as usual. Danger. Keep out. That's an invite to go in, isn't it? Bet Fred Bucky. Ah, card factory. Card factory. It's the only business I'll see every single town I go to is a card factory. They never seem to suffer. They never seem to close. <laughs> Which is really weird. Over there, right over there in the distance, I'm going to go down there later. It's a huge mill. I'm not sure what it is or what it was, but I will find out when I get there. There's the e-cig and CBD store. What a glorious day. And I've got a coat on. But I need it. Ah, oh, Greg's. Greg's. Wow. You're not a town or a village or even a place to, to dwell in if you haven't got a Greg's. Oh, these look nice. Oh, they do look nice. Look at all those properties up there. Well, that looks like it may be a church, it might even be a school. But up there, up on fills. Oh, these are lovely. They look like flats or something. Or businesses. Don't know. Never mind. This is Glossop Market. Unfortunately, closed on a Tuesday. It's only open Thursday, Friday, and I think Saturday. I always pick the wrong day. Looks pretty good though. I bet it's nice when it's actually open. We have the t-shirt printer, open Friday and Saturday. And this looks like maybe public toilets. Lots of little sheds, which will have various businesses inside. Roll end carpets, and there, and there. Sidras threading station. So, if you want your eyebrows threaded, 
pop down here the muffin stall now that would be a place of interest for me just wish it was open travel lodge it's great this there's a car park behind it yeah plenty of parking excellent so look down there is there water running through this park nope just more buildings oh look at these apartments wow look at them balconies fab bit of a sun trap because the sun's directly on them probably most of the day some walkway suits for parks there. Property's up there in that mysterious church type building. I'm not going up there because I haven't really got enough time. Time's marching on and there's other places I want to be and do filming. So I'm going to venture on down to the mill and see what that looks like. One thing we have noticed in Glossop, a lot of the car parks have got electric charging points. So they're doing their bit, because I've seen a lot of electric cars around here. The car park I've parked in, there's about six or seven of these chargers. And some very nice big posh cars, plugged in, recharging. The People's Park, a memorial park. Lord Howard donated this land to the people of Glossop in memory of the men of Glossop Dale who lost their lives in World War I. Amongst them was his son, Lieutenant Philip Howard. A memorial plaque can be found near to the entrance on Philip Howard Road. And look at this. Peace and tranquility. Nice walkway. Nice little park. Where these properties, the lucky inhabitants, can overlook the water and this peaceful little park. I wonder what one of them costs to rent. I wouldn't mind living in one myself. Little kiddies play area. The Pie Master's up there on another level. On another level. <laughs> so peaceful. It's always peace when you're near running water. But look how clear that is. The odd face mask. But how clear is that water? Love it. There's a little bridge over there. I wonder if that goes back to the main road, which is just over that way. Oh, look. Look at the little slide. Now, we had slides like that when we were kids. Health and safety just didn't bother. But the slides we had as kids were at least five, six times the size of that. And we loved them. <laughs> Do you know, I never had things like that when I was a child. If it did, I'm sure I'd have broken more limbs than I did. <laughs> oh, one lone little bird there. Is it a duck? I don't know, he's got his head tucked away. Yeah, it's a duck. All right, buddy, stood on one leg, Long John. There's a bridge now, and it didn't take the way Les did, so I had to scramble up this bank. Oops, my error. <laughs> Just perilously walked up there without slipping. And that is an achievement. Right, this leads back through to the main main thoroughfare how wonderful is this though i don't know how far you can walk along here but it's absolutely lovely and i can imagine when all the leaves are on these trees it looks pretty spectacular even more so in the autumn and they're all golden let's get back to where i came from and check out that mill 
and these are the apartments that back onto the water where I've just been. The old glove works apartments. And don't they look gorgeous? So in keeping with the rest of the stone in the town centre itself. Brilliant. DRI. Okay, let's get back down there. Get to the mill. Well, this is certainly a lovely place. Glossop people, you're very lucky. Especially on a day like this. I think everywhere is nice on a nice day though, isn't it? And this is particularly nice. Look at that old jalopy in there. Good grief. That's definitely seen better days, hasn't it? Ooh. <laughs> and here on George Street, a myriad of little shops, small businesses, and the Oakwood. What a wonderful place. Oakwood looks nice. Here we're back on the main drag. Sri Lankan restaurant. Okay. Bargain booze, I think they've gone into administration. So we'll be seeing many of those in your high streets because they're all closing. Sherif, Bistro and Cocktail Bar, Age UK. Yeah, there's some lovely, lovely things to see here. And shopping to do. Hugely impressed. Hugely impressed. But I just love the Peak District. I think everybody knows that by now. <laughs> Great place. Oh, wow. Sorry, mate. Master Chief himself. Master Chief. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. There he is. The Batman. Wow. What a cracking model that is. That's the sort of thing on a whim. I would go and buy it. I have nowhere to put it, but you just want to own it. Well, that's sad. <laughs> okay. Corner cupboard. Euronix. There you go, Euronix. So they are cheap, I believe. I don't know how trustworthy they are. Ooh, Ruchi Indian cuisine. That looks bloody lovely. Saving zone, a bit like Poundland. Smaller. Okay, let's make my way down to Oh, look, 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 look. Baz. Baz grooming. My brother's called Baz. He's been groomed. No! And here it is. Which once was probably a mill. Looks like it's workplaces now. I don't think it's accommodation for living. May very well be. But that is gossip. And what a great place Glossop is. So now I'm going to leave Glossop. I've thoroughly enjoyed this visit and I've thoroughly enjoyed this tour. So if you too have enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. And I'll see you on the next one. Macman, for YouTube, signing off. Take care all.